Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Paige, your cubby leader. Today we are on Bear Hug 25, and our verse is from Acts 16 31. Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. Can you say that with me? Acts 16 31. Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. Good job, cubbies. Are you ready to play our game? Can you find me? All right, cubbies. This is the beach scene, and we're going to start looking for the items along the bottom. And the first one's going to be the fork. Can you find where I hid the fork in this picture? Where could that fork be? kind of obvious so I'm gonna assume you guys already spotted it did you say there is that where you found the fork <laughs> I hope so because I don't know anywhere else I could have hidden the fork so we're gonna move on to the pizza where is the slice of pizza hiding in this picture You probably need to find the pepperonis if you find the pepperonis you'll find the whole slice Okay, let's see if you guys are right. Ready? Did you see the pizza hiding in the kites? I thought that was pretty good. The shape of it fits the kite perfectly, doesn't it? All right, let's move on to the guitar right there. Where is the guitar hiding in this picture? Do you guys see the guitar? Did you say it was in the sailboat? Yes. <laughs> Very good, cubbies. All right, let's look along the top and we're gonna start with the lemon slice. Where is the lemon? Look for colors that the lemon matches because that's probably where I, I tried to hide it. Did you find the slice of lemon? Let's see if you're right. Ready? In the chair. Did you guys see the lemon in the chair? Yeah? All right, let's move on to the pepper. Where is the hot pepper or the jalapeno? Where would I hide that in the picture? Look for colors that are similar. Look for something that is green. That's where I probably hid it. Did you guys already spot the hot pepper? Let's see. Right there in the tree? That would be right, Cubbies, because it's green. So I wanted to hide it in something green. Very good. Okay, the last one is the french fries. Where are the french fries? I thought this one was pretty funny myself. Did you spot where I hid the fries? Let's see if you're right. Ready? Right there. I turned them upside down and put them on the man's, um, over his trunks to make it look kind of like a skirt, I guess. I don't know. I thought maybe you guys might not notice, but did you spot the fries right away? You know that wasn't right, was it? Very good, Cubbies. All right, now it's time for Cubby Bear and his friends. I wonder where Cubby Bear is today. I haven't seen him for a while. Let's call him and see if he comes. One, two, three. Cubby! Ruff, ruff. Oh, hello, Katie. We were hoping to have Cubby Bear come and talk to us today. Have you seen him? Yes, I have. Cubby, Timothy, and I were playing a game of catch with Timothy's friend, Mia and Will. Oh, that sounds like fun. It is. I love to play catch. I can catch the ball in my mouth when I jump up high in the air. Wow, Katie, you're amazing. Thanks, and I have a new trick too. I can hold the ball on my nose. Well, that's a great trick, Katie, but I'm still wondering where Cubby is today. Well, after we played catch, we decided to play hide and seek. I'm really good at that game too. Mia began to count 
and the rest of us began to hide. Timothy and Cubby ran to the woodshed to hide. Well, that sounds like a good place to hide. It is, except Timothy's dad saw that the woodshed door was open. He stopped mowing the grass and went over to the woodshed to close the door. Then he locked it. Oh no, Timothy and Cubby were inside. Yep. Well, what did you do, Katie? Well, I started barking and chasing Timothy's dad while he was riding on the big lawnmower. I tried to get his attention, but he didn't hear me. Listen, I think I hear the lawnmower coming this way. Ruff, ruff. I need to go get Timothy's dad so he can help Timothy and Cubby Bear. Oh, bye, boys and girls. Bye. Well, I sure hope Cubby Bear and Timothy are okay. We'll have to wait until next week to find out more. Bye, Cubbies. Are you ready for our story? Before Jesus went back to heaven, he told his disciples to tell the good news to everyone. Cubbies, do you remember what this good news is? The good news is that Jesus died for our sins and came alive again. All those who trust in him are saved from the punishment for sin and will be alive with Jesus in heaven someday. Now, one man named Paul loved to tell others the good news about Jesus. Paul traveled to many different places to tell people about Jesus, and sometimes he would take his friends with him. One of his friends was named Silas. Now, in this picture, Paul and Silas are in the town of Philippi talking to some women about Jesus. The women liked to meet at the river to pray to God, but they had never heard the good news about Jesus. When one of the women named Lydia heard Paul talk about Jesus dying for her sins and coming alive again, God helped her to believe everything Paul said. She trusted in Jesus as her Savior. And then she was kind to Paul and Silas and invited them to stay with her family at her house. For many days, Paul and Silas stayed and shared the good news about Jesus with the people in the town of Philippi. But some people in the city were angry. They did not believe the good news and they didn't like what Paul and Silas were doing. So the leaders of that town beat Paul and Silas with sticks and threw them into jail. Now the jailer dragged Paul and Silas far into the jail to what was probably the darkest, coldest, smelliest room of all, and he fastened their feet into wooden blocks called stocks so they couldn't move. Cubbies, if you were Paul and Silas in that jail, how would you have felt? Probably sore from the beating and scared and sad, right? Well, late that night, Paul and Silas were lying on their backs in the stocks, and what do you think they were doing? They weren't crying. They weren't shaking because they were scared. No, the Bible says that Paul and Silas were praying and singing songs to God. The Bible also says that the other prisoners, the other people locked up in the jail, were listening to them. Suddenly, God did something amazing. He sent a mighty earthquake to the jail, and the ground under Paul and Silas started to shake. And the walls of the jail swayed back and forth, and the locked door swung open. The chains on every prisoner broke loose. Now the jailer was afraid. He was in charge of the prison, and he thought that all the prisoners had run away through the doors. And he would have gotten in big trouble. Paul shouted, don't worry, we are all still here. The jailer fell down before Paul and Silas. He knew that their God was strong to send such a mighty earthquake to help them. What do I need to do to be saved? He asked them. And Paul and Silas said, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Cubbies, that is our Bible verse for this week. Let's pretend that I'm the jailer and you are Paul and Silas. And I ask, what do I need to do to be saved? And what would you guys say? Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Right? Good job, cubbies.
Our Bible verse has some important words in it. One word is believe. Believe means that you know it's true. That Jesus died on the cross for your sin and came alive again three days later. You trust Jesus to be your Savior. Another important word in our verse is saved. Saved means that we are kept safe from the punishment for sins. Cubbies, do you know what a punishment is? When we do something bad, we sometimes get in trouble or get punished. A punishment might be sitting in time out or mom telling us that we can't do the fun thing we wanted to do. The punishment for sin, though, is much more serious. It's the worst kind of punishment. The punishment for sin is dying and being away from Jesus forever. But cubbies, we don't have to worry about that because here's the good news. God said that if we believe in Jesus Christ, we are saved from the punishment for sin. We will still die one day unless Jesus comes back first, but we will go to heaven and be alive with Jesus forever. The jailer believed in the Lord Jesus and he was saved from his sin. All the people in his family believed in Jesus too. And they were so happy that Paul and Silas had told them the good news about Jesus. Now, Cubbies, we too can obey Jesus by telling others the good news, right? Well, now it's time to sing. And just like Paul and Silas sang praises to the Lord, we're going to sing praises to the Lord too. And I'm going to sing this song for you. I put the words here for you, for your parents to be able to read and sing along. And it goes, I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you, O oh, my soul, rejoice. Take Take joy, my King, in what you hear. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Let's sing it together one more time. We're going to praise Jesus today. I love you, Lord. And I lift my voice to worship you, O oh, my soul, rejoice. Take joy, my King, in what you hear. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. All right, Cubbies, that's all we have for today. I'll see you next time. Bye.